Right lad, another windy, beautiful morning in England. Now there is usually one main obstacle that stops you from doing what it is that you want to do. Whether that's speaking to girls, whether that's lifting that PR in the gym, whether it's going to the gym in the first place, it usually is stopped by the obstacle of fear, right? You're here, the goal that you want's here, fucking hell, look how windy it is, bro. Jeez, lad. <laughs> and then fear is in the middle, fear is the obstacle that stops you from doing what it is that you want to do, it stops you from becoming the man that you want to be, and it stops you from living the life that you want to live. So how do we combat fear? First of all, I just want you to know that those excuses that you make does, do not mean that you are not scared. For example, you see a girl in the gym, your mate says, oh yeah, go and talk to her, she's checking you out, whatever, she's interested in you, and then you feel fear, but because you're not honest with yourself, you'll say, ah, oh, well, you know what, I don't really want her anyway, or I'm just focusing on myself, or she's not really that attractive anyway, I'm not really into her, she's not my type. A lot of you guys hide behind excuses. But for example, you're coming to the gym for the first time, and you won't really know how to use any of the equipment, and you'll be like, well, I don't really want a deep bench press anyway. Fucking wind. When in reality, you are just scared. That is a genuine fact. You are fearful of that situation because you have not exposed yourself to it. You're not used to it. Hence why it's scary. They always say you fear what you do not understand. That's absolutely true. If you are not good with women, if you don't understand women, you're most likely nervous slash anxious around women. However, if you got your practice in and you spoke to more women on a day-to-day -day basis, you were just around more women, you wouldn't be so scared. It will become second nature, it'll be normal to you. Do you understand what I'm saying? So there are three ways you can combat fear and you can use either all three of them or you can just tap into each one depending on the scenario that you're in. So number one is redefining the way that you see fear. A lot of you guys see fear as some sort of negative, some sort of thing to cower away from. You know, I'll tell you, yeah, go and speak to that girl over there and you'll be like, well, I'm scared or I'm nervous or I'm anxious or I don't want to because I feel like you're seeing it as a negative. So what if you're scared? That's a good thing. Number one, it shows you and your body that you are on the right path. It shows you that you're doing something that's out of your comfort zone, which means you're gonna grow from it, okay? And it also shows you that, right, my body is getting itself ready to do something that I'm not used to. That is all that fear is. Fear is fuel. You have to redefine the way that you see this emotion because that's ultimately what it is. It's just an emotion in your body that you feel when you expose yourself to something that you're not used to. It's not something to run away from. It's not something to view as a negative. It's not, some, it's not an excuse to hide behind either. Oh, I'm scared, so I'm not going to do it. So do it anyway. That's what makes you brave. That's what makes you courageous. You have approached a situation that you're not familiar with. You feel fear as a result of that. Again, the fear is needed. It's simply just fuel to get your body ready for something that it's not used to. It hyper-stimulates your senses. It forces you into the present moment. These are all positive things. So rather than focusing on it and thinking, ah, these are negatives because I feel fear. I feel scared, so I'm not going to do it. That's a negative. It's a good thing you feel fear. It means you're going to act in the most optimal way. Because again, you are forced into the present moment. Do you understand what I'm saying? So number one, to combat that fear that you feel in any situation, is simply just redefine the way that you see it. Look at it in a positive way. It's a good thing, it's fuel, it's energy that you didn't have before. And it's also a sign that you are on the right path to growth, to becoming the kind of man that you wanna be, doesn't come easily. It doesn't come through comfort. It doesn't come through doing the things that you are used to. It comes from pushing your boundaries and proving to yourself that you are more capable than you thought possible. That is what will give you confidence. That is what will help you to walk through the world with just that unshakable armor, right? So next time you go to the gym and you see a beautiful girl over there doing hip thrusts or doing leg press or whatever the fuck she's doing, and you think, ah, oh, she's fucking gorgeous. I want to get to know her. I wish I was the kind of guy that could go and speak to her. Rather than sitting there and cowering away because I feel scared and you are allowing that emotion to dictate your actions, take control of the emotion because remember, you're a fucking grown man. You can control your, your thoughts. You can consciously control your thoughts. You can literally just tell yourself positive things. You can also consciously control your emotions. Okay, you can tell yourself positive, positive things that will lead you to feeling excitement rather than fear. And that brings me on to my second point. The second way to combat fear is to simply just redefine what goes on in your brain. Flip the script. A lot of you guys will see a girl and you'll think to yourself, yeah, but what if I get rejected? Or what if I start doing bench press and I fail and I get laughed at and everyone, everyone laughs at me and I embarrass myself? 
what if I try this new YouTube channel and everyone judges me and it doesn't work out and I'm a failure and I'm a loser and everyone laughs at me in school rather than focusing fucking win bruv rather than focusing on the worst case scenario first the negatives first why don't you just change it and focus on the positives flip it again into a positive mindset what if I succeed what if I get the girl's number and instead of people laughing at me they dap me up like yo bro that was sick well done this guy's a G what if it all goes well and you succeed on YouTube and you make a lot of fucking money and you achieve the life that you want of complete freedom you can get up whatever time you want. You can go to bed at whatever time. doesn't even exist to you anymore. What if that happens instead? That's how you got to look at it. Start from the best case scenario first and then work your way down. Fair enough. Start from the best case scenario first. What if this, this goes completely as I want it to go? Completely perfect. Completely smooth. What if that happens? That's number two. So we've identified that number one, the emotion that you feel, which is fear, anxiety, nerves, whatever, that is a positive and that is needed. We've identified that. You are now flipping how you are using this emotion and you're making it work for you rather than against you. You're using it as extra motivation, as extra fuel. Now you're on the right path. Number two, you have also redefined the way that you see that fear by starting with the best case scenario first. You're starting with the most positive outcome. Again, this is positive thinking. When you think positively like this and you start to expect success rather than failure and you start to say, yeah, but what if I succeed? What if it all goes well? What if I get that girl's number? What if I bench press my, my highest weight yet? What if I get that PR? When you start to think positively like this, you turn that fear into excitement. You start to get ready for it. You start to look forward to it. Now, rather than hiding away in the corner and saying, you know what, she's not even that attractive anyway. I don't really want to focus on girls right now. I'm just focusing on myself. Rather than making excuses and hiding away, you're actually going to dive in head first. You're going to want to do it. You're going to feel excited to do it. Because now you've motivated yourself with positive thoughts, again, which you can control. A lot of you guys are saying, how do I stop negative thoughts? How do I stop negative emotions? You can control it with your own brain. Tell yourself consciously, just say words in your brain. What if I succeed? What if this all goes well? Okay, visualize it going well. Visualize you hitting that bench press PR. Visualize you getting that girl's number. Visualize you getting the fucking body that you want, the gains. Visualize everything that you want in a positive way. Because when you feel fear, when you feel anxiety, when you start worrying, what you're doing is basically just visualizing. You're imagining the worst case scenario. I hope you can hear me right now because this seven minutes, is just eight minutes is absolutely pure value. And if I've been cut off by the wind, I'm nearly fucking fuming. So instead of imagining the worst case scenario, which will make you feel fear, you are now imagining the best case scenario. My coat is getting fucking annihilated. <laughs> Look at the state of it. I'm going to go put it on because it's getting kind of cold. So instead of imagining the worst case scenario, which makes your body respond with fear and anxiety, that's what your body does. It cannot tell the difference between imagination and reality. So instead of imagining, imagining, instead of imagining the worst case scenario, simply just flip that and start to visualize the best. Start to visualize you getting her number. Start to visualize it all going well, right? And then guess what? If I can set you up, we'll, we'll talk about it. Then you're going to feel excited instead. Then you're going to want to do it. And that's where the power comes from, right? Look at the fucking gains, bro. Mm. Chest gains as well. Posture check for you boys. Stand up straight, sit up straight, whatever. Don't sit there with your incel posture. Oh my God, Luke's virgin. Number three. To combat fear. To combat th fear, number three is to simply just expose yourself to it. That is as simplistic as it gets. It's the more that you understand something, the more that you are conditioned to something, the easier it becomes and the less fearful it is. So for example, I used to be absolutely terrified of talking to girls. I used to be absolutely terrified of socializing in general. I used to be scared of having attention on me. When I was in the gym, I used to just cower away on the fucking, on the, you know, the, the machines that were there for you because I was scared of lifting the dumbbells because what if I embarrass myself? That was me. Now I'm the kind of guy that can lead thousands of young men on a YouTube channel. It doesn't just happen by accident. It happened because I slowly exposed myself to fear on a daily basis in any metric. So you can do this from something as simple as, ah, you know what? Uh, I kind of feel scared speaking to strangers when I walk past them. 
oh okay i kind of feel scared of making eye contact with a stranger when i walk past them that gives me a bit of discomfort that makes me feel a little bit uneasy you know i feel a bit a bit of discomfort when i walk past someone and i make eye contact with a stranger if that's the level that you're at then start doing that practice out your look at the dog bro hello mate can you see him over there he's eyeing me up but if that is the level of discomfort that you feel then good go for it fucking head on dive in head first the main thing i want you to take from this video is the only way you're going to get over fear in any situation so let's say you're scared of talking to girls the only way you're going to get over that fear and you're going to stop feeling nervous and anxious like i used to do i used to sweat and everything bro when i get nervous when i get scared i sweat and i start like like i feel my breathing get really shallow and that is fucking annoying right but the only way you get over that especially when talking to women is by fucking doing it practice that's it how else are you gonna do it do you know what i mean so you have to expose yourself every single day to anything that makes you scared anything that makes you uncomfortable anything that makes you feel a bit uneasy you have to expose yourself to it even on the small scale things every single time you get an opportunity of making a decision that even it's the easy option or the uncomfortable fearful option you must always take the one that makes you the most scared you must always take the option that makes you feel the most com discomfort not comfort discomfort the thing that makes you feel the most uneasy is what's going to cause you to grow and then you'll find that as you grow these things start to become easy for you then they start to become comfortable do you know what i mean talking to girls now is easy for me it's, it's just normal because i've done it so many times i've exposed that emotion so many times i've put myself in that situation so many times that now it's second nature now it's just a habit can you see the dogs in the background bro Never mind. now it's just second nature so that's what you must do in every every single situation train your brain like you train your body you got to train your mind right train your mind to take the hard option in every single situation train your mind to instead of being a pussy and hiding away from the world and, and sitting on your fucking your granny machines because oh, i'm scared of bench press or sitting away and and just oh well you know what i'm not really focusing on girls right now i'm just i'm on seamer attention instead of doing all of this bullshit and making excuses for yourself train your brain to just take the hard option defaultly that is how your brain works you just default towards the hard option once you can start doing this well it comes easy easy so that is my message for you today learn to control your fear learn to harness it it's an emotion it can be controlled consciously by you it's not something that is like a third party thing that has control over you. It is literally within your control. Once you apply the techniques that I've taught you in this video and you basically just start practicing every single day, doing something that makes you feel a bit of fear, even if it's just mild fear, it might be something small, but you're doing something every single day that will cause you to build up resilience to fear and it will cause you to also understand that emotion. When you understand it, when you understand how you respond to that emotion, you start to learn to control it. So I learned, ah, I sweat. When I get scared, when I get nervous, I start sweating. I start speaking quickly. My breathing starts to get shallow and like, <gasps> like I don't have any oxygen in. That's how my body responds to fear. Now that I can understand it, it stops being so scary because next time it happens, I just understand, oh yeah, I'm feeling anxious right now. I know what's going on in my body. It's not a shock. Like, yeah, I'm feeling scared. Be brutally honest with yourself. There's nothing wrong with that. You cannot be fearless. There is no such thing. Anyone that says, yeah, I have no fears, it's just lying. It's just straight up lying to you, right? If I pointed a gun to your fucking head, not even that, if I pointed a gun to your, one of your family members' heads in front of you and you genuinely believed I was going to pull the trigger, you would feel fear. So don't lie and say, yeah, I'm fearless. Nothing scares me. I could fucking scare you, bro, right? With that being said, once you understand that, okay, fear is normal. Fear is just a natural part of life. It's needed. You need fear. If I didn't have fear when I was doing something that, I, that is unfamiliar to me, then I wouldn't have the right mindset or wouldn't respond to the situation in the right way. If you're, if you're driving the car for the first time, you're going to feel a bit anxious. You're going to feel a bit nervous. It is natural and that's good because that fear, those nerves help you to stay focused to make sure that you are doing the absolute best that you can. If I just drove a car for the first time ever in my life and I didn't feel any nerves, no anxiety, no fear, then I'm just going to be lethargic. I'm just going to be like, eh, it doesn't really fucking matter anyway. I'm not really going to be taking in information. Your body, literally, your mind literally learns and takes in information when you are in a state of fear slash adrenaline. So when you are in a state of fight or flight, you literally take in information. That is how you learn. So fear is needed for you to become the man that you want to be. Do you understand what I'm saying? So coaching is down below. If you want to learn more from me on a personal level, I'll take you from the shy, awkward, socially anxious nerd that you are today 
and I'll turn you into an absolute fucking G within one hour. That is my guarantee to you, okay? Down below in the description, come and talk with me, and I'll see you soon. Bye.